Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month, a standout time, especially considered in the context of 2020, which is a very special and busy astrological year. But it is this month that we will begin a rare extended eclipse season. On June 5th, we will have a lunar eclipse, and normally that would be capped off on the other side with an eclipse two weeks later, and that would be the eclipse season, a time when the ancients said the veil between the worlds was especially thin, a time when we're able to recognize our spiritual lessons that much more clearly. But what's different now is that we will get three eclipses back to back to back, which means eclipse season will take us right to the end of the month and into next month as well. But at least for this month's horoscope, let's talk about those first two eclipses. Well, on June 5th, we will have a lunar eclipse taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with home. It has to do with family of origin, your understanding of your past. Now, this is a particularly intense lunar eclipse. It is happening across the sky from a retrograde Venus and both of these placements, the lunar eclipse and Venus are speaking in tension with Mars. This is a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square and it suggests that much more energy, but also that much more motivation for something to change, for positive occurrences, that much more a sense of action, wanting to be taken, needing to be taken to improve circumstances for the better. And so it is this lunar eclipse at the very foundation of your chart that speaks to things changing at home, speaks to things changing in terms of your understanding of the past. That Venus retrograde at the very top of your sky speaks to career, social standing. And what this does tell me is that it is possible now that if you have already been working from home, well, that position in some way changes, evolves in some way, and it may be that you need to put in extra work in order to make it a success, in order to really ground this new way of doing things. But for others, this may be a literal sense of home changing, buying, selling, moving, new roommate, all of that is possible. Because of that connection with Mars, there may be some sense of quickness, some sense of urgency, some heightened energy and emotion around the changes that are taking place. Now, this may also be connected to a matter related to your family of origin, your parents in particular, and this may just represent a strong desire to be in the presence of your family, to go home, as they say, so that you can spend more time there. Now, regardless of how this comes together, just know that this is the first of many eclipses that we're gonna have for the better part of the next year and a half. Eclipses are gonna be taking place here. The South Node is newly moved into this part of the sky for you. And so this is the beginning of larger lessons, yes, and yet a lunar eclipse does suggest some finality, some sense of closure. And for many, this is going to be closing something in the past bringing a newfound sense of forgiveness to it so that you can release its energy, allowing you to live more in the present today and more at peace now. The pathway there may have strong emotions to it. However, the promise here of being able to recognize the spiritual lessons and find strength in that is strong as well. It will be on the summer solstice, which is June the 21st, that we will have a solar eclipse. Now, whereas that lunar eclipse is the first in a series, this solar eclipse is the last of a series. You've had eclipses taking place in a friendship-oriented part of the sky for you for the better part of the last two years. And it is now with this final eclipse on the summer solstice at the very beginning of this part of the sky that you get a chance to begin again, to feel a sense of fresh energy and new beginnings. Just days before this solar eclipse, 
Mercury will go retrograde in this same part of the sky. And what that tells me is that along with the beginnings may very well be reunions of some kind, reconnections that feel brand new. As I said, this part of the sky has to do with friendships. It is connected to groups that you belong to, group endeavors. It also is a particularly lofty, visionary part of the sky as well. And so here you get the opportunity, you get the chance not only to make genuine connections with other people, but perhaps also welcome in truly big opportunities as a result of the people that you know. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Mars is going to spend most of the month in your opposite sign, intimately involved with the lunar eclipse in the early part of the month. You add to this, we are going to end the month with Jupiter and Pluto meeting in the sky. That is a rare celestial phenomenon. It is taking place three times over the course of this year. This is the second of three meetings. The first one took place back in April. And it is this meeting of Jupiter and Pluto that's happening in a flirtatious part of the sky for you. Well, all of this, Mars and this conjunction, it speaks to a powerful time in the context of love. If you are open, to meeting someone new, the desire to connect with someone may be particularly strong. Venus is retrograde most of the month, going direct just days after the solar eclipse late in the month. And what that suggests is it is very possible that you may, around that lunar eclipse, connect with someone who was a partner in the past. And that may be part of the strong emotions that arise and that fresh perspective that may come. But for all that, it is going to be late in the month with that meeting of Jupiter and Pluto that there may be a very strong flirtation that does play out with somebody that feels like an important experience. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, that lunar eclipse can play out a couple of different ways. It may be that you learn something about this person's past and that is what evokes some very strong feelings for you, perhaps mixed emotions for you. For all that though, as we get to the end of the month, once we get to that conjunction, that energy is very all or nothing. That energy is a moment of truth, letting you know whether or not this is someone you wanna move forward with. And for those of you in an established bond, especially if you live with this person, it is going to be the lunar eclipse that by far will be the more important energy. That lunar eclipse can suggest that the changes happening on the home front are the result of a partner, whether it's just their opinion, whether it is changed circumstances in their life and how that's affecting your home life. All of that is possible. And so it may very well be because of your partner moving is taking place. Now, I do also want to add, I know that there has been a phenomenon that some people have spoken about, and that is... Um, some people who had just started to date, just started getting to know each other, decided to social distance or shelter together, and so very quickly found themselves in established relationships, even though the relationships were quite new to begin with. It was as if they skipped steps and moved in together. Well, if that's the case for you, where you're in that space where you're getting to know them, but you're also now in an established bond because of circumstances led the two of you to live together, this is gonna be that deciding moment. This is gonna be that moment that says whether or not this is something that you want to continue. It can also be the case that this encourages bonds to accelerate, to move towards becoming more committed. And so whether it is that you decide not to live together or whether it is that you decide that someone that you've been in a relationship with, now you're ready to commit on that level of living together. In some way, what's happening with love and partnership and what's happening at home are intimately connected now. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here. Also, before the month is over, Mars is going to move into a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound transformation. Normally, Mars spends about seven weeks in a given sign. This time, we'll spend seven months as part of an upcoming Mars retrograde season. I will talk about it every step of the way. But as you can see, it is a big moment. It is a big time. It is a time like this that can change 
not just your direction, but for you, change your foundation, help you to understand differently where you come from, where you have been. And it's all a part of gaining new perspectives and fresh insights, ultimately allowing you to live more in the present today and get truly excited about your future ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.